Hello, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my home. Today we are going to be doing a chair yoga practice. Chair yoga is all about how to keep your body nourished through movement, even when you're kind of stuck sitting all day. A couple of things about chair yoga. I tried to keep it pretty general so that everybody can participate or modify it in some way to fit whatever ability you're at. Um, safety, if you are sitting in a chair with wheels that the wheels don't lock, I don't recommend um, using that chair. Um, try to get your chair, um, if there are wheels and they lock and that's safe and you feel sturdy and safe doing that, that's your call <laughs> if you're safe. Um, but preferably chair with just legs. Um, and a chair without arms is also preferred. Arms can get in the way for this practice. Um, if you don't have the choice and you, you only have a chair with arms, that's fine too. You just might have to work around them. Okay, a couple of things. Um, we may, you may wanna use blocks today. So if you have yoga blocks, I suggest you use them. I don't recommend books today because we might be putting them on a slippery chair or possibly a slippery floor and um, you want the, the stability that the yoga blocks give where chairs or books might slip. So don't recommend books for blocks today. Um, you could use pillows if you've got like a stiff, sturdy pillow, like a yoga bolster or something like that. That's perfectly fine. So chair yoga is great because most of us or a lot of us spend a lot of time sitting, you know, sitting at work, um, sitting in a car or to driving and everything. And you can use this practice or different poses from this practice to keep your body moving and keep it from being stiff at work and hopefully re-energize you. So I'm um, trying to think if there's anything I forgot. Oh, also this is my chair. I have my yoga blanket. You can use any blanket or folded towel. And um, I just put it on, I have a metal chair. So if you have a wood chair or a metal chair or without one without a cushion, you might wanna use a blanket. It's just there for a cushion. Okay, so let's begin. So making sure that your chair is sturdy and it's not going to move during this practice unless you want to move it yourself. Let's start with that. So we're gonna begin in chair mountain pose. So we're not, our backs aren't rested up against the back, kind of off, kind of on the edge of the chair a little bit. Our feet are planted flat on the floor, about hip width distance apart. Our back is nice and tall. We're not pushing our lower back to sit as tall as we can. We're just nice and neutral spine. Shoulders are rolled back away from the ears and your hands are palms down on your thighs. You may close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders. On your next exhale, relax your face, your jaw, your tongue. Now slowly and gently begin rolling your shoulders back one at a time. And maybe roll them forward the opposite way, sluicing them up. And then bring your shoulders back to neutral. And bring your ear down to your shoulder. And then slowly bring your other ear to your other shoulder. Maybe gently roll your neck so your chin is forward on your chest and rolling it back. Just very gentle and slowly here. Bringing your head back to neutral. 
Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, place your right hand on your thigh and then up and reach with your left hand over to the side. Nice side bend here, making sure your shoulders are rolled back. Breathing into the space. Inhale, reach your arms up, coming back to center. Exhale, bring your left hand down to your left thigh and reaching up and over with your right hand. Checking your shoulders. Breathing into that right side. Good, reaching up, coming back to center. Inhale here and as you exhale, Twisting your torso to the right. Checking your legs here, making sure that your legs stay hip width distance apart, that they're not caving in or out. And just twist gently as much as your body will do naturally. And then bring, you can bring your hands down, maybe one to the back of the chair, one to your thigh. Looking over your shoulder. Inhale, reach your arms up, come back to center. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, twisting to the left, making sure that your legs stay hip width distance apart. Your hands can come down and support your twist. Inhale, reaching your arms up. And exhale, coming down. Bringing your arms down. I may be moving my chair occasionally during this practice so that you can see from a different angle how to do a pose. So we're sitting at the end of our chair now, feet flat on the floor, nice neutral spine. We're gonna do some cat cows. So as you breathe in into cow, and roll your shoulder blades back, kind of bring your belly forward, gaze up a little bit as you fill your chest, heart forward. And as you exhale, rounding in your spine, we're not slouching, we're purposely rounding our spine, drawing our shoulders forward as we push the air out. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, chest forward. Exhale, bringing your belly button in, rounding in your spine. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, rounding your spine. And your next inhale, just come to a neutral spine. For this next one, you may want to put a block under your supporting foot. You might have nice long legs where you don't have to do that. We're gonna sit back just a little bit. We don't wanna fall over. And we're gonna come into a seated pigeon pose. And we're gonna bring our right leg up and place our foot or our ankle, or our shin, wherever you find comfort doing this on top of our left thigh. Just allowing it to rest there. You can kind of support your knee and cradle that if you wish. Nice and neutral spine, make sure you're not caving in to get it, just nice neutral spine, shoulders are rolled back. You can stay here or on your next exhale, you can slowly lower your stomach and your torso to your, to your leg. Just folding forward a little bit. Mm 
you should be feeling this stretch in your hamstring, in your hips a little bit. In your inner thigh. Bring focus and attention to your breathing. Try to focus your breath to your back. On your next inhale, if you've come, if you've folded forward, come back to a neutral spine. And then supporting your leg, lower your foot to the ground. Adjust as needed. Now we're going to bring up our left foot. Bring bending our left leg and folding it over onto our right thigh. can support your knee and your foot if you want to, or you can just leave your hands neutrally on your shin. You are welcome to stay here or on your next exhale, fold forward over your thighs. Keeping your spine straight, checking your shoulders, making sure they're not hunched over. And focusing your breath to your back, expanding your back. Last inhale here, and when we exhale, coming back up to neutral spine if you're not already there. Supporting your leg, you can bring your foot back down to the mat. All right, so now we are going to do a couple of hip strengtheners. You can do this sitting or you can do it standing using your chair as support. I'll show you both. So sitting, we're sitting on the edge of our chair so we can bring our leg up. Make sure that your left foot is pretty neutral and flat on the floor. Bringing your right leg up, place your hand on your thigh. Your hand is there as a support. It's not gonna do any work. You're gonna press your thigh into your hand, not as hard as you can, just gently pressing it until you feel some stretching or some even a little bit of tension right here. It's not tension, but activating a muscle right here that falls asleep very often when we are sitting too long, which is why this is so important to know how to do if you sit all day. So go ahead and press your thigh into your hand. And if you're not feeling that activation, that means you're probably using your hand. So try to use your thigh. And holding for six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're more than welcome to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it standing if you want to stand while doing this. It's the same thing. There's no difference from standing and sitting. So you can hold the back of the chair and your, foot, your left foot is supporting you. It's flat on the ground, kind of like if you were getting into tree pose. Bringing your leg up, pressing your thigh into your hand, and press six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Those are your two positions. I'm gonna come back to seated and ready, pressing your thigh into your hand for six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, good. Now we're gonna bring our leg out to the side a little bit. Maybe like at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna do the same exact thing except we're at an angle. 
And it is a little harder when you're sitting. So I'm grabbing onto my chair to help me balance. But I'm gonna bring your thigh up, press it into your hand for six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'll show you that standing. Bringing your leg out, bent, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you should have that same active feeling right there. It's just activating different muscles in the same area. Turning them on from falling asleep. And we're gonna press one more time here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest, bring your foot back. Find some stability in your right foot and your right leg. We're gonna do the same thing to our left side. And I already showed you how you can do that standing. So you may do that if you're comfortable standing. And pressing our thigh into our hand. Our hand is not working again. Feeling that activation in our hip flexors for six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. And press six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Last one, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now bring your leg to about a 45 degree angle. Bringing it up, press your thigh into your hand, feeling those activated hip flexors for six, five, four, three, two, one. Checking your spine. Are you still in neutral spine? Are your shoulders rolled back? And press six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and shake it out a little bit. I am gonna turn slightly to the side. Get a different angle. <sighs> All right. Finding that neutral spine again. What an inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, think about goddess pose. Slowly widen your legs and bring your arms down into cactus. Inhale, reaching up. Maybe let your legs go a little bit wider. Bring your arms into cactus. If you can't bring your legs wide, cactus arms is fine too. No worries. Maybe um, you could also put a block between your legs to separate them. That'd be helpful. All right. Inhale, reaching up. And this time, we're going to reach our right arm down. And our forearm and the back of our hand are going to meet our shin. And you're going to reach your left hand up. Bring your gaze up, slight twist in the spine here. If you find this puts any pressure on your shoulders, go ahead and bring your hand down to your hip. Inhale and on your next exhale, go ahead and rotate your arms, bringing your left arm down to your shin and your calf, reaching with your right hand, looking up, slight twist in the spine or bringing your hand to your hip. And we're gonna rotate through a couple of these. So inhale, up, exhale, bringing your arm down to the right side. Inhale, up, exhale, bringing your arm to the left side. Inhale, up, coming to the right. Inhale up, coming to the left. Inhale, bring your arms up and together. Bring your knees back together, hip width distance apart, and let your arms float down. Okay, <clears throat> for this next pose, 
I do recommend yoga blocks or a pillow. I'm gonna bring your feet out in front of you, nice and long, like we're in staff pose. Good. Finding a nice straight neutral spine all the way from your tailbone to the top of your crown. If you're feeling any kind of strain, sit at the edge of your chair. We can pull the meat from underneath your bottom. Take a moment here to bring focus back to your breath. So if your heels are on yoga blocks or they might be on the floor, they're perfectly fine on the floor. The blocks are just to give a little bit of height to my feet, hopefully to yours. Inhale and begin to forward fold. If you have a strap, that would come handy here. We're not using that today, but you're more than welcome to. Checking your spine and your shoulders, making sure they're rolled away from the ears and that your spine is still in a neutral and it's not hunching over. If you wanna to try to touch your toes, you can put a slight bend in your legs and reach forward a little bit. This can feel really good on those stiff legs from sitting all day. Walk your hands up your legs, back up to a neutral spine. And wiggle your toes a little bit and smile to yourself. Maybe this is a nice reminder that you need to paint your toes. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your ankles back and forth gently. So waking up your feet. Good, maybe shake out your knees a little bit. Just waking up those legs. Now bring your feet off the blocks or the pillows if that is where your feet are. If they're already on the floor, you are fine and place them aside so they're not in the way. Now, bringing your hands, we're gonna sit at the edge of, there's a couple different ways that we're gonna take this reverse tabletop position. So you can bring your, sitting on the edge of the chair, bring your hands and place them behind you on the chair. Butters is gonna try to sit on my lap. Bring your legs long in front of you, feet flat on the ground. Deep breath in as you roll your shoulders back, chest forward. Good. Now as you exhale, squeeze your bottom and slowly bring your hips forward. If you find this to be too uncomfortable of a pose that you're not quite ready for, Find a yoga block for support. Go ahead and place that behind you. Oop. I think we're gonna sit on it. There we go. So we're sitting on the yoga block, kind of like, just like we were sitting on the chair. It's supporting our bottom. Your shoulders are rolled back. Your hands are still in the same position behind you, supporting yourself on the chair. Chest forward, and instead of lifting our hips forward, the block is supporting us here. Good. Coming back up to a neutral spine, feet flat on the floor, bending your knees for safety. You 
can lift and bring that support out from under you. Or if you didn't have one, just sitting back down in a neutral way in your chair. Sit at the edge of your chair, knees bent, bring your hands behind you and clasp your hands together. Your chest is gonna pop forward and your shoulders are naturally just gonna come back. It's a nice chest opener here. You can stay here. You can let your hands, if they touch the chair, they can rest behind you. You can bring them up a little bit for a little bit more of a stretch. And then if you're comfortable, you can bend forward, belly to thighs, and your hands will come up behind you, keeping your fingers laced. Good, if you're bent forward, draw yourself up before you unclasp your hands. And then when you're back to a neutral spine, under your hands and bring them back to your thighs. Feet flat on the floor. Bring your hands to your thighs and find that neutral spine, our neutral chair mountain pose here. Bringing focus back to our breathing. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, let your arms and your chin float down. Inhale, reaching back up. Exhale, let your arms and your chin float slowly down. Inhale, arms up. On your exhale, you're going to bring your arms down, bending into cactus arms. And here we're going to take eagle arms and eagle legs. So bring your arms in towards yourself and bring your right arm up and over the left like this, crossing. And then you can stop here, pressing the back of your hands together, or you can, what I like to say, pretzel twist your arms till about your palms are touching. Now you're gonna take your left leg and cross it over your right. And you can just leave the cross like this, or if you're comfortable, you can tuck your foot underneath, your, your left foot underneath your right ankle there. On your next inhale, just slowly reach your hands and arms up just a little bit till you feel that nice little tug in your shoulders. Inhale one more time. And as you exhale, untwist your arms and untwist your legs and come back to neutral. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, cactus arms. This time, bringing your arms in, your left arm is gonna go over your right arm. Taking that eagle arm wherever you're comfortable. And now your right leg is gonna come over your left leg. Again, twisting as much as you're comfortable, not straining yourself. As you inhale, slowly reach your arms up until you feel that gentle tug in your shoulders. Focusing on your breath and focusing your breath to that spot. Right there between your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale one more time. And as you exhale, untwist your arms. Bring them down beside you and untwist your legs. Inhale, reaching up. Back to cactus arms. And now you're going to take your hands and place them on opposite shoulders for a nice bear hug here. Close your eyes. And just gently begin to sway back and forth, maybe smiling to yourself a little bit. Inhale, bring your elbows up slightly. Gently bring your right cheek down to your shoulder. And then gently rolling your head over so your left cheek is at your left shoulder. Just a gentle sway. Bring your head back up to neutral. And as you exhale, slowly let your arms float down. Hmm. Now we're on to final resting pose. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to take this pose today. So the first one is staying in our chair, but now we get to lean back on the back of our chair a little bit. And if you have those pillows or blocks to help support you, that would be good here. You can bring your feet to a very relaxed position on your blocks. It's kind of, it's kind of slumping in your chair a little bit here. You're allowed to, to slouch a little bit. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your jaw, maybe placing your hands at your stomach or your heart, or just comfortably on your lap. There is another way we can use a chair for final resting pose, something a little different. Coming to the floor, if you can do this, go ahead and it's kind of like legs up a wall. So we're gonna come down, bring our bottom close to the base of the chair, come down on our backs and bring our legs up onto the chair. Just like this and just allowing our legs just to completely relax using the chair to support us. Bringing your arms down to your side. And with every exhale, just letting go. So closing your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Your next exhale, relax your jaw. Relax your thighs and your hips. Relax your feet and your toes. Allow these precious moments to just be Just be still. I'll bring you back when it's time.
Begin to bring focus back to your breath. Wiggle your toes. Sway your feet back and forth. Wiggle your fingers. And just reach up behind you. Stretch and back. If you're sitting in your chair, begin to adjust yourself, coming back up to a neutral spine. If you're laying on the floor using the chair as support, you can bring your knees to your chest and roll over to one side. Use your hands to push yourself up. You're welcome to come back into your chair or just a seated position on the floor. Once you're in your seated position, then inhale, reach your arms up, palms together, and as you exhale, slowly bring your hands down, stopping at your heart. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. I appreciate you so much and I am just so thankful and honored to get to share my yoga practice with you from my home to yours. The light in me sees and honors the light in you and the world needs your light today. So go shine on. Namaste. Bye. Thank you.